I had a feeling you'd catch up to me sooner or later, Inspector. I was just hoping you'd find me standing over the Administrator's corpse. What in law's name? Halcyon Helen, how are you still alive? Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the building. Would you mind letting him know I'm about to blow his whole operation to flinders? <sighs> well, that's gonna depend on whether or not you're on my side. Don't listen to her! How can you possibly trust the word of someone who lacks the decency to stay dead? You were never my target, Inspector. I've no intention of killing you unless you stand in my way. Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aetherwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Belinda. Well, that must have been her sister in the ballroom. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. A twin? <laughs> the only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Brenda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. So when I discovered... My plan to save Halcyon. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing... They're not parasites. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host. A bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? I want to bring joy back to Halcyon. I want this colony to smile again. Halcyon is an utterly wretched colony. Rotten down to its core. We live short, miserable, brutish lives. And we deserve better. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at real happiness. But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I barely knew the fellow. Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there just watching us with those cold, dead eyes. He was a Rizzo's employee. He belonged to Ludovico's horrible little family of grinning idiots. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keen, that slack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but she turned me down. She was honor-bound to report me to Ludovico. Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. We both did what we had to. But in the end, I was the faster shot. You know what you need to do. Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future, Inspector. A lifetime of bliss and joy for every colonist in Halcyon. We can make that happen. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. Really? You're going to choose that coward over me? I misjudged you, Inspector. I won't make that mistake twice. I've found out where Helen's storing her explosives. You need to find the detonator and defuse it. I'll guide you there. Follow the unsealed doors. Forget about Helen. Head 
What's that? No, why should I be worried? Yes, I know Helen is alive. She's a discrepancy in the plan. It will be corrected. Nature abhors a vacuum, and the universe abhors discrepancies. Helen will be dead soon, and everything will be as it should be. Inspector, I didn't realize the transmission was running. Are you ready to begin the next phase of our plan? 
I have a habit of externalizing my private thoughts. Don't worry about it. Not just anyone, my queen. There's no need to give me that look. You'll have an audience with her soon enough. Everything will be made clear to you in due time. Right now we have work to do. I underestimated Helen and it nearly cost me my station. I'm not making that same mistake twice. We need to strike back hard. Helen is still alive. She's still a threat. We need to outmaneuver her. We're going to bond every person in Eridanos with a symbiote. We're going to use Phaeton's system to suspend airborne larvae into the complex's atmospheric controls. Think you can handle that? Head to the pilot house. Use Phaeton's control terminal to release the larval compound into the atmosphere. And if you cross orbits with Halcyon Helen, Make her regret it. What floor would you like to visit? This pocket watch has someone's initials inscribed. What was that? They're coming!
Greeting protocols suspended. All non-essential protocols suspended. Phaeton is standing by for larval compound dispersal. Unable to disperse the larval compound while the reactor is unstable. Warning. Reactor unstable. Phaeton cannot disperse compound until stability is restored. I don't understand. For the life of me, I cannot understand why you sided with that monster. I know you're the adjutant's favorite agent. You must realize what Ludovico's plan means for this colony, for Byzantium. 
Ludovico is on the verge of turning this entire colony into a feeding ground for his parasites. And you threw in with him? Why? I wish you'd told me that when we first met. I wouldn't have bothered negotiating with you. Do you have a family? A sister? Aw, Captain. You do say the sweetest things. I see what you're trying to do, so I'm gonna give you a pass on calling me family. If someone hurt your crew, you'd hunt them down. You'd make them suffer. Belinda was my sister. I loved her. And if anyone so much as laid a finger on her, I'd end them. I'm going to kill Ludovico. And if you stand in my way, I promise you, I'll go through you. We're through talking. Goodbye, Inspector. We won't meet again. Greeting protocols suspended. All non-essential protocols suspended. Phaeton is standing by for larval compound dispersal. Affirmative. Dispersing. Inspector, well done. The larva should be entering the atmosphere at any moment. I've ordered the complex locked down in case anyone tries to escape. This is it. The turning point in the history of this colony. And it begins now. Come meet me in my distillery. You deserve a reward. End of transmission. Just a guest. Well, you and I are st You've done a beautiful thing for my queen. You've made a host out of every human being in this complex. You've given homes to her myriad spawn. Every human body has become a cocoon for our symbiotes. In time, they will transform into a happier, better version of themselves. Halcyon will transform. My queen is pleased beyond description. Her excitement has whetted her appetite. She's practically writhing with hunger. I'm regretting a lot of things right now. Glad you got that off your chest, Cap. We're probably gonna die, but it's the thought that matters. I've decided to give you the honor of becoming a host to the queen's own progeny. Your bonding will be the first of a new generation. 
Welcome to the Rizzo's family, Inspector. You've got to learn to assume the worst. Please don't make this difficult, I promise. The experience is entirely painless. Your Highness! Dinner is served. Wait, no, not me. Them! Merciful Law! Stop! <laughs> You made it. I guess happy customers really are repeat customers. Here, I had something I wanted to give you. This is a golden ticket. Good for one free tour of the Purpleberry Orchards. This is my way of showing you that I appreciate you just for being alive.
repeat customers are repeat customers. I understand the lockdown. Really, I do. They won't know what hit us. Crew report, Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Welcome back, Captain. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? During your absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited, and my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. Therefore, my conclusions are inaccurate. My simulations have yielded several possible causes of death. Halcyon Helen may have been killed by one or all of the following. Asphyxiating on Rizzo's spectrum brown. Grappling with a primal while inebriated. Killed by an overzealous fan. Death by automechanical. Or profound loneliness. How close were my estimations? Please, do so. Administrator Ludovico killed Halcyon Helen? I have been programmed to simulate contempt and mild surprise. Mr. Ludovico had the honor- This information is valuable to me. I will update my behavior- I have been programmed to trust your judgment, implicitly. If you released an infection of parasites across Eridanos, I am certain you must have had a rational cause to do so. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if- 